let's go ahead and give the possibility for the user to edit his profile. So first things first, we're going to set up a route in our profiles page so that the user can actually click on the edit profile button. So in our profile.blade.php, the first thing we want to do is actually just set up a button. So p.txt center, just so the button is center aligned. And the, the next thing I want to do is make sure that the authenticated user is the one trying to edit his profile. So I'll just go ahead and say if the authenticated user's ID, authenticated ID is equivalent or equal to the user ID, which means the users whose profile we are viewing. If the authenticated user's ID is equal to the ID of the user whose profile, is, whose profile we are viewing, then we're going to set up an edit profile route. Meaning if I am authenticated and I am the one viewing my profile, then I'll be able to edit my profile. So I'll go ahead and say, and if, okay. And right here, I'm just going to display an anchor tag. And this is going to be button, large button, info and this is gonna be a get request to a route which we are gonna create and I'm just gonna call this profile that edit and right here we'll say edit your profile okay so the next thing we want to do is set up that route so it's gonna be a get so I'll call this profile slash edit slash nothing we're not gonna pass in any parameters and this is gonna go to the edit and this is gonna be called profile that edit okay so in our routes in our profiles controller we have to set up that method and uh, we have profile so we have public function edit and this is going to return a view which we're going to create and this view is going to be in the profiles directory dot edit and it's going to receive the data that actually the profile data of that particular user so since we are trying to actually update the profile of the authenticated user we're just going to say auth users profile and this is going to be the profile information for that particular user so I can actually call that profile or I can call it info. Okay, so that's it. So let's go ahead and create our edit view. So in our file structure directory, in our resources, views, profiles, we should go ahead and create a new file and I'll call it edit.blade.php. And uh, what I would like to do is actually just duplicate the home.blade.php. And uh, rather than saying you are locked in our dashboard, I'm just going to say edit your profile. And uh, right here, I'm going to have a form. And the action is going to be to a route that we're going to define. And this route is going to be called profile.update. And uh, the next thing we want to set up is our CSRF field. And uh, we're going to have a form group. And the first field here is going to be for our location. So I'm just going to say location. And the uh, location. And uh, this is going to be input form control. And the name of this field and the name of this field is going to be location and we're going to set up the value of this field and the value is going to be remember the info variable we passed and we're going to call location and the next field we want to have in our in our form is the about me field and this is not going to be an input it's going to be a text area for that form control and the name is going to be about 
the ig is gonna be about in small letters and uh, what we'll actually like to do is echo the information about that particular user right here so we'll say info and we'll reference the about information for that particular user okay so what we'll actually like to do next just set up our submit button so i'll just like to put that in a form group and uh, the next thing i'll do is also put that in a text center this paragraph and uh, the next thing is gonna be a button that button that button primary that button large and this is simply gonna say save your information and uh, I just go ahead and make this of type equals submit so we can submit our form and uh, we have to set up this route so we don't receive any errors so I'll go ahead and set that up and the first thing you want to change is the verb so the HTTP verb here is gonna be a post and this is not gonna be profiled at edit it's gonna be profiled at update and the method we're gonna call is the update method and this is called profiled at update and in our profiles controller we want to set up a method called update so public function update and this has to receive an instance of the request that we're receiving from our front end okay so I'm just gonna say request arrow and uh, I'm just gonna dd request all okay so that's set up let's go ahead and see what we have if we refresh we have an edit your profile button and if we click on the edit your profile button we are trying to get property of known objects in the profile that blade that php so what's going on so i know exactly what's going on so what is going on is if you check our if we check our route file we are actually calling a profile slash edit route and here we have a profile slash slog route so what is happening is this edit is actually being passed as a parameter into our index method and the index method is trying to find a user with a slog of edit rather than directing it to our edit route as we defined so what we're gonna do is actually just tweak this a little bit so it doesn't look so similar okay so we're just gonna say edit maybe profile so live one knows that's a different route okay and we can just say update to profile okay and that was nice to see and uh, if i refresh that class app controllers auth not found so in my profiles controller i didn't use the auth facade right here so use auth and that should work okay and that works so we have our location and we have about me field so we can put in our location and we put in our about field information and we can save it so in our edit.blade.php what would actually obviously want is to make sure that we are submitting a post request S so at this point if we submit our route it simply gives us the location and the about field which are blank okay so let's go ahead and actually make sure that those fields are submitted by our user and we'll just call it a required attribute right here and we'll also make sure that this is required okay nice okay so what we're gonna do is actually make sure that the data that we are receiving from the from the form is legit so we're gonna authenticate this so we're gonna make sure the location is in the request and we say required and we'll make sure that about is in the request and we'll say required and we'll make sure that this is no more than 255 characters so we'll call the authenticated user and we'll get his profile and we're gonna call the update function on that and what we're gonna update here is the location and we'll make sure the location 
is equals to the location that we receive from the request and the about is the about that we received from the request okay so so that should work so let's go ahead and die down the authenticated users profile to see what we have and then we'll remove this die down here let's go ahead and try that out refresh so my location i'll just sim samara russia and i'll just say this is a little bit about my weirdness save information and it's die dumping the profile and there it is it's saved in our database so it's working so what would actually do rather than die dumping the profile is actually go ahead and flash to the session which we're gonna take care of in a later lesson and the uh, what we're gonna say is a success message and we're just gonna say profile updated and return redirect back so that should do it okay so if I refresh I have some more rush here and this is a bit about my weirdness and I'll just go and change this to my weird nature somewhere my Russia Europe okay so update okay class app session not found sorry about that guys so use use session okay and uh, Okay, that's already saved in that database so that works 